This is the CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you around the Heimer stand here. I'm going to try and do this within 12 minutes which should be relatively easy because the problem is with uh, these vehicles is getting into them because there's always people in them. So uh, we'll start off with the Tram S680 costs uh, 92,349. Uh, which is a fair whack cash this van is 739 centimeters in length it's on a, a mercedes sprinter platform and uh it's very nice we've got a bed above me here which uh, to be honest doesn't really impinge on the height internal too much uh coming to the back here we've got these two beds german layout steps up to them under them we've got also a wardrobe there you go, and it's pretty deep. I'll explain to you why it's deep. It's because of the chassis which is used, and uh, that gives a lot more space. Another thing here, actually, we've got a, a false floor down there, which will actually extend the uh, storage within that. I mean, should you have sort of shirts or uh, coats or something which are a bit longer, uh, which uh, that can uh, get, that'll go into the chassis even further. Here we'll uh, close the door off there stand in the shower and you can see how tall uh the the shower is from me so i'm 175 centimeters in, in height i got all this room here as well uh, of course i'd probably be showering with the thing closed the plastic thing probably i mean you might want to sort of get the floor all wet all right i'm gonna have to uh, sort of uh, come out uh, in the rear that direction because the people in here no, i won't bother so we've got the bed up there, you can see. Bed comes down, there's the electric, key goes in, and it comes down normally. Now I'm trying to do this, as I have done with other videos for other companies, really quickly, within 12 minutes. That is a very nice feature, that's the sort of thing that appeals to me. They've tried to use this deadish space here for, uh, uh, for, 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 um, for storage of shirts, and as shown here, this being the um, the, the, the toilet that's a bit rounded so yeah that makes sense Thetford fridge you can see these in many vehicles there's absolutely nothing unusual uh, about that okay right now this could well be the last van I might actually get in on the stand okay so I've got to do caravans I've got camper vans and uh, so I'm going to take you around, talk you a little bit about it. If, if I can. So here, Tramps S695. This thing here costs 82, 83,000 in nearly. Semi-integrated van, Mercedes. Mercedes is being now used on lots of uh, vehicles. This white line here. First, sorry, lots of vehicles uh, from the Heimer range that have got more vans on, more homes on the Mercedes platform than anything else. You know what, BMC, it's a Modern Comfort 550. Uh, it's got a, a width-wise bed in the back, which I think I'm gonna see if we can get in now and have a look at. Nip in between people who are sort of looking at things. Uh, it might be difficult to get the prices, but that this is just right for me. This is the sort of thing I would want. So it's uh, short enough to be uh, relatively easy to park, yet long enough to be comfortable. Indeed, I wouldn't want a huge fridge like that, nor would I want the bed which is up there. That's just me personally. You might think differently. It's uh, whatever you want. Um, nice large and comfortable wet room as you can see we've got a double floor in here once more it's this alcor chassis and uh, lots of space everything of any uh, importance uh, related to the infrastructure of the van is now uh, un under under the floor uh, the batteries are down here you've got lots of space also for increasing uh, the carrying capacity of the of the van you can see why uh, this is my favorite uh, brand as such
give you the price on that thing because there's no one here. It's uh, 95,000 euros. Right, so this thing here, white line B class modern cover, 600. The one we've just seen is seven meters in length. Uh, this one is also seven meters in length, that I do know. I think. Oh, sorry, 719 centimeters in length. Uh, I'm thinking about this thing here now we've just seen that now that is the uh, same length as my van yeah it's got so much more it's a little bit it's not even wider so you know it's the same same everything right okay white line yeah now one thing you want to do you don't want to buy a van um, I'm utterly keen on make this point you need to rent it first you rent you don't buy Right. If you don't like it, don't blame me. Modern Comfort 580. This thing here is seven meters as well in length. I'll just stick the thing through. So we've got two beds coming here in this direction. That's great. If you're tall, have a quick look in here. Uh, oh, I'll just point out this gentleman down here. Do as this gentleman's doing. Test it out. See if you fit. That's really important. Now, we'll have a look in the bathroom. Obviously, because you've got these double beds at the back, then uh, that sort of means that the bathroom is going to be a bit shorter. Something, right? You've added more space to the rear, so somewhere you've got to make up for it. You haven't got so much hanging space either. Great. And there's a... Uh, okay, the table seems to be a bit less as well. Test things out, try them out. It's a, it's a huge amount of cash, no matter whichever you look at it. I mean, 97,000 euros. Got to get it right, and therefore, uh, you need to rent, in my opinion. On comfort, semi integrated 680. I've got here on the left a 580 van. This one here has also got a, an internal layout similar to the one we've just been in. This thing here costs 103,000 euros. Okay, integrated vans. Integrated's got a, a, um, the front, uh, which is uh, made by the manufacturer. So that's integrated as well. Let's go in this one. Uh, I-680, 110,000 in excess of uh, to buy. Right, integrators will put the bed, usually nearly always, over the, the cockpit. And here you've got the bed made up into its constituent parts. So you've got a huge bed at the top. If you, you can lie lengthwise. Uh, I mind you, sometimes I've, I've met people didn't fit in them because people seem to be getting taller. But for most people, should be able to do that. Close this off here. You've got your toilet. And so when you... Uh, in the toilet and the shower at night what you can do you've got a curtain that goes up there so you get a bit of privacy if you want it either, or if you're shy right let's come out yeah, 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 it's too small. Yeah, it's too small. Ah, but that, nein, that's is good, I think. Nein, when you see grosser. Nein, when the beer kiste kriegst du hier nicht. Ah, yeah, yeah. When you eine beer kiste hier hier stehen willst, kommst du nicht rein. Yeah, aber hier wir haben Platz für Bierkisten. Okay, hier sind Akku, aber hier. Ja, bitte. Ja, Können Sie sehen? Ja, das ist ein Platz. Ja, aber, aber, ich, aber ich muss erst mal hier reinkommen. Ich muss erst mal hier reinkommen. Und hier ist ja eng, wo ist sie noch? Das ist das Problem. Hier, hier ist es ziemlich eng zum Reinkommen, ne? Ja, ja. Die Tür ist sehr eng. Und, 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 ja. ja. Und dann haben Sie auch noch diese Tür, ne? Also es ist schon ein bisschen enge die Tür, ne? Ja, schön. Ja. So, I've sort of lost uh, where I was now, um, having that conversation. Um, what we, I've, I've completely got disorientated after that. So, um, anyway, so that was a discussion on, uh, for, for those who can't speak German, on where the, the crates of beer can go. 
Right, so anyway, look, what I've done here, I've tried to give a overview, probably totally failed since that, that conversation on the uh, Hymer, uh range. Uh, but as you can see, well, I won't show this as well actually, there you go. Fiat Ducato, Mercedes Sprinter, but now Citroen as well. And I think the reason for this, Citroen is obviously a little bit cheaper than the Ducato, it's made in the same factory, uh, but the, it, it does, it works out at up to around 5,000 euros cheaper. So I mean, it's not an ex insignificant amount of cash. I'm going to finish actually, seeing as my uh, train of thought has been after that beer conversation with the gentleman, he blocked my way to get whilst I was getting out. I'll finish off with this thing here, this this rather odd uh, project which uh, is never going to get built. Um, Vision Venture, and uh, I still haven't been in it. I couldn't get in it, but right. Good, so that gives you an idea of the uh, Heimer range. I hope you found that of interest. Uh, if you did, I'll be doing far more. I'm, I'm, I, I intend to actually go through the uh, entire uh, Heimer range uh, later in this uh, tour. But uh, here at Stuttgart, uh, it is rather difficult. Thanks very much for watching. If you find that of interest, please do uh, subscribe.